Okay, Ernesto recently asked me, is it possible to record voiceover in DaVinci Resolve 20? And it is. It's actually possible in two different parts. And what is interesting about that is you actually get different options depending on whether you do this in the cut page or the edit page. So let's head over and have a look at what this looks like. I've got a simple project. It is actually a vertical project, but I've, I haven't changed that setting for reasons you'll see in a second. This might be a little bit hard to see behind me, but we do have this, this little voiceover icon over here. If I click on this one, we will actually get a whole bunch of different options. What is interesting, and again, this is on the cut page. On the cut page, we actually have the option to have a teleprompter. And if I go and load my script file for this particular project, you can see that we'll actually have the, the, the script up here over the top of the video. There are some options to sort of change the font size and the line spacing and margin and opacity. I actually don't find these granular, granular enough for me to really work with them in the way that I do. And I think what you'll see when I actually record in a second is that this doesn't quite move quite as quickly as I would like it to, and I don't seem to have a setting to fix that. But the other thing too is over here, we've got our recording settings. So where are we gonna actually record this? Um, what, what are we gonna record? In this case, it's the audio input from the roadcaster. Um, where is this actually gonna go? It's got its own voiceover track, that's great. Monitoring, so do we wanna hear the timeline audio when we do this? Do we wanna mute it? It's up to us. Uh, we can have a countdown and uh, you know we can even see where the file location is for this particular recording. So, you know, I can cue that, I can record that. If I hit record, the Australian bush is a beautiful landscape at times, but sometimes during summer, you will barely be able to hear yourself think as these noisy insects burrow out of the ground and scream their little lungs out. And you may see that I actually made this a little bit longer to try to match my, uh, my timeline. Because again, I was trying to adjust uh, what that looks like in terms of the display of the teleprompter. If I actually go up and change this to a proper vertical uh, project, so I'm using the, the vertical resolution. Um, interestingly, that actually looks looks kind of the same to me there. So, you know, you may need to actually adjust the the window to sort of adjust how this displays, and that might be a workaround. I guess the other thing I want to do probably, because uh, I haven't really adjusted this too much, I'm just going to go over to Fairlight and quickly go to my clip operations and normalize this. And if I go back, you can see I've got my, my audio and my video. And that's certainly one way of working. So we can do that. If you've got particular text that you need to read out to match the the... The timeline, you can certainly do that over there. The other thing we can do over here is on the edit uh, page, we do actually have this little option over here, which is to record a voiceover. Um, I'd probably make sure I added an audio track for this first, so I know that's audio two. We get a few, we get quite a few less options actually here. So we can say, where do we want to, where do we want to record it to? And in this case, I want to go to audio two. We can uh, just click here and, and record whatever it is that we want to call, record. We get our three countdown. And I can record whatever I want to record over the top of this. And again, those are two different ways of working. Um, I'd be really curious to see how people are actually using this, but that is how we can record some a voiceover in DaVinci Resolve 20.